Take our tongues and teach us what to say. Take our eyes and teach us how to look. Take our ears and teach us how to hear. Take our soul and make it subdue and submitted unto you. Take full control, Holy Spirit, all of you and none of us. It is to you we give the glory, O great and sovereign God. It is to you we give all praise, Holy One of Israel, Lord Jesus Christ. You are awesome in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. You do miracles so great. Mm. people of God good morning good morning to you on Facebook good morning to you on Instagram good morning good day good day good night good evening good afternoon wherever you are in the world hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord most high great is the faithfulness of our God hallelujah 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 we bless you we bless you those who are in watch parties we bless you hallelujah bless you bless you bless you lord there is none like you none like you none like you lord hallelujah hallelujah oh what a good god you are awesome in this place you are awesome in this place almighty god hallelujah hallelujah faithful sons and daughters of the most high god hallelujah we bless you we pray God's covering over you. We pray God's favor upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, yes, yes. We pray that the Lord will strengthen you, that he will heal you, that he will deliver you, that he will set you free and make you whole, and that he will keep you in perfect peace with his mind, your mind stayed on him, that he will expand you, enlarge you, that he will give you creative ideas and witty inventions that he will bless everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak prophetically this morning when I say to you, Fort Worth family members, that in this season, God shall shift that which concerns you. Favor shall be your portion in the midst when favor seems to be a thing of the past or, 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 or something that has eluded most persons. 
I declare and decree that favor shall be upon you in the same way we testified yesterday of the, 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 the limb of the Aki tree that fell down to give favor to the woman of God so shall favor be upon each and every member of this group jobs shall begin to open up salary increases promotion hallelujah those who are desirous of having a child shall have a child those who are desirous of being married shall meet their spouse in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i decree, decree and declare those who desire to travel those who desire to get back on the on, on, on the on the um the international scene going places visiting family doing things it shall be so in the name of jesus i speak favor i speak uncommon favor to each and every member of this family those who are having issues with their children their children are out of work some of us are children are, are, are not well uh, struggling with different things from drug abuse to schizophrenia to, to, to diabetes to hypertension all kinds of different things some are struggling with just the depression from this whole lockdown and and, and online schooling and all these things i declare that it shall be well in the name of jesus christ the god that we serve who is in control of all things will show us favor in this season favor 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 for though we have been faithful god says faithfulness produces faithfulness and his faithfulness is always available and waiting to implement when we our faithfulness come up to him and so i'm telling you this morning the spirit of the lord is saying that our faithfulness in getting up each day and coming to give him glory even when it is difficult even when we don't feel well even when we have other things to do but we put on the the, the, the unit the, the implement or instrument that we are we we we're, we're we're supposed to be hearing from and we still hear it while we're in the bedroom while we're in the bathroom while we're in the kitchen we still listen god still honors that faithfulness god still honors that seriousness about wanting to be a part of what he's doing and i'm telling you this morning by the spirit of the lord the lord says your faithfulness shall be rewarded your faithfulness shall be rewarded for those who look to him are radiant and their faces will never be covered with shame those those who know their God hallelujah shall be strong and do exploits and that exploit come from favor favor of the Holy Ghost and so I'm telling you favor is upon you this morning favor is upon you in this season favor is your portion but the only way you are going to know that God favors you is if you challenge that favor that favor decree so you have to be willing to challenge what God has done there is much in you if you have gone to university and learned hallelujah thank you jesus and learned how to do accounting or math or or, or business administration or law or, or or medicine and you never go to work in that field you'll never know how good you are or how good or great you can become and so you have to get in there and do it come on begin to practice practice because you are great ah you are great you are great you are great you are awesome we are hey let me tell you guys we are greater than we think we are greater than we know and sometimes because of humility we will try to not think about how good we can be but it is not us it is the spirit of god that is in us when you go to university or to bible school or to any kind of training camp or, or or conference and you take notes and you learn and you come back and you say okay now i know this that's one thing but when you come to the school of the lord when you come to the foot of the cross when you come to the to, to, to the fourth watch hour or, or when you go to the place of God and you in your prayer closet and you lay on your face and you say God download into me download into me download into me it doesn't always come to your brain and say I know this like it is marketing I know this like it is law I know this like it is training for teaching it is not like that you have to buy faith you have to buy faith step out and so I'm saying to you you are great so step out you are great so start shout you are great so open your mouth you are great so go about come on hallelujah ah uh, that's why we go about and that's why we shout that's why we open our mouth that's why we lay hands on the sick that's why we look we seek to love others 
and do things for others because the great God that lives in us has made us great. So I just want to encourage you this morning, man. Go forth and do and be. Go forth and do and be. Everything that happens in your house, everything that is happening in your family, in your community, even if you see it on TV, uh, take responsibility and begin to pray for it. Pray for it. Pray for it. Because greatness is in you. Come on. Hallelujah. You've been at this now long enough for, 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 for graduation. Well, not graduation, but for elevation to come. Yes. God says you have been elevated. Hallelujah. So as we pray, God elevates. As we pray, God appreciates. As we pray, God imparts. And so impartation is in you. So come on, David 10. Come on, come on, come on. Begin to just point to the door, uh, the bedroom door of your son and declare and decree. Hallelujah. And just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Because pretty soon God is going to send you to point to the doors of many other persons. And you would have gained confidence from doing it in your house. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the, the testimony has come by Sister Yvonne. Who she, she, she just stepped up and just delivered a message. And persons heard and said, wow, she's great. Get her to come and speak at our, our, our thing as well. And so there is more greatness in each and every one of us in this family but we have to step out and use our mouth to shout and then we will go out with others saying wow look at that hallelujah yesterday we look at Paul on the island of Malita or, or Malta and, um, and, and, and when he when he yes he shook off the snake but they didn't know how great he was they knew that he was when he shook off the snake they said wow he's like a god because he didn't die they didn't see any action external of him that would demonstrate that he's like god or carrying the presence of god ah uh, but when the man when he went to the house of the of the chief and the chief's father was sick and dying had all kinds of things, running belly, bleeding and all kinds of things, uh, was on the verge of death. And Paul prayed and, and then laid hands on him by confidence. So when we pray, when we spend time in our prayer closets, it's not just for us to say, I spent two hours praying today. I spent four hours praying today. It is to pray so that you might display. Come on, somebody, are you hearing me? So we pray that we might display. Hallelujah. And so Paul prayed and then he displayed and then they knew he was great he already knew he was great because he knew the great god lived in him glory to god come on somebody that same great god lives in us by the holy spirit so when we pray we must display ah hallelujah somebody should get excited look for opportunities look for opportunities and i need to step up my game as well i see too many opportunities out out in the streets when i go out people in wheelchair people blind and sometimes i see a blind person and my heart grieve for them and i say oh my god look at that man but i do nothing about it i got to mm, 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 mm. come on Rowan. you got to step up to the plate step up to the plate how will you know that you have the anointing to cause the blind to see unless you pray for the blind oh somebody got to hear me this morning hallelujah so on this prophetic wednesday i'm saying to you all we got to do is love enough and be courageous enough come on if you go back to joshua 1 god says meditate on my word day and night and be careful to do what is in it. Come on, glory to God. Be careful to do. Then you will prosper and have good success. But in the midst of that, he said, be strong and very courageous. He told him that twice at least. Be strong and very courageous. Because that's how you're going to know what is in you, my son. That's how you're going to know what's in you, my daughter. That's how you're going to know that you truly have my power and my authority and my dominion. So I bless you this morning, my family. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow. I bless you with the impartation of the anointing of God. I bless you with the power and the confidence to go forth like Joshua and defeat all your enemies. I bless you with the anointing of Moses to go up in the presence of the Lord and be hidden in the cleft of the rock. So when you come down, you are glowing in the glory. I bless you to carry the Shekinah glory presence of the Holy One of Israel. I bless you to impact your family your community and even your nation in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you to heal the sick cast out devils, raise the dead I bless you to be the answer 
hallelujah to the problems that ails all around you in the name of jesus i bless you to walk in the spirit of wisdom and understanding in the spirit of counsel and might in the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord i bless you to be the resistant or the antibodies to the to, to every virus every parasite every sickness and disease i bless you to be resistant to hypertension diabetes and cancer but not only to be resistant to it but to be uh, the answer to it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i bless you to go and to be and to do for god's good pleasure i bless you to declare and to decree a thing and see it established i bless you to win souls for the kingdom of god to declare that jesus christ is lord and see persons by and obey and answer to the call of God upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you to be eloquent in speech in the name of Jesus that you will not fear speaking to even those who quote unquote are brilliant I bless you to go and to do and to be for God's good pleasure anyone that comes into your space if you're a teacher come on if you're a trainer if you work in an office area where there are many people if you work on the phone where you have to deal with many people in the days i bless you to be courageous to tell them about jesus or to just live a life that persons will see and know that there is something special and different about you i bless you to flourish i bless you to prosper i bless you to increase i bless your businesses this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth I bless your family. Hallelujah. I speak on common expansion. I speak on common outflowing and, and download in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bless your faithfulness and I declare that your faithfulness shall cause your borders to enlarge and your territories to expand. I bless your house and I command every unclean spirit operating in your space and in your place to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you to be bold and courageous in the face of demonic assignments and demonic manifestations in and around your surroundings and in and around your family in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak an impartation of the boldness of Joshua to fight against every Philistine and every 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 parasite and hittite spirit in the name of jesus every marine spirit come on every incubus and succubus spirit every foul unclean demonic spirit that comes and goes and pass through your environment i declare receive in the name of jesus christ receive in the name of jesus christ that boldness to stand against them and say get out in the name of jesus christ and do not come back i command every foul unclean spirit operating in your atmosphere operating in your next door neighbors operating in your family members in your house i declare that we stand together this morning and we cancel cramp and paralyze the assignment of every demonic spirit they must go because the blood of yeshua the Mashiach is upon the lintel and doorpost of your life is upon the lintel and doorpost of your house and so this morning is fourth watch family morning we declare today that no demon or devil shall come nigh us for only with our eyes shall we behold and see the reward of the wicked and so demons and devils must flee from our presence in the name of jesus christ we declare that it is well with our soul every demon and devil that has been holding on to our money causing us only to just get by holding on to our money causing us to to, to walk in poverty lack and insufficiency we just barely paying the mortgage and the, or the rent barely getting enough food we can't save we can't go on vacations i cancel that this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i cut off everything that is holding us in a, in, in the place of lodi bar and i declare this day that we are now stars we will flow we will flourish we will go on vacations not just a hotel down the road but we will go to other countries in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah we will have credit cards not to be in debt but our credit card bills will be paid off every Every month with it with uh, without paying having to pay any interest i declare that we shall live well in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 bless the name of the lord bless the name of the lord our father is a multi 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 billionaire not like man hallelujah the richest man in the world only has about 0.001 percent of the wealth of our father of our god and so we need to start walking in the wealth of the spirit and the wealth of the natural but when we walk in the wealth of the spirit come on 
hallelujah we access the wealth of the natural and so i'm saying to us this morning i prophesy to us this morning as we step into boldness because the wealth of the spirit is already in us by the holy spirit and so as we begin to to to, to recognize and just tap into who is in us oh my god the wealth of the natural will flow and the wealth of the spirit will grow in the name of jesus christ and all we have to do is know and then put it on show and we will grow in jesus name amen and amen so be encouraged man be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged all we have to do go back and read joshua 1 Go back and read Jeremiah 1, hallelujah, and see, hallelujah, what God did for those two men, how he introduced them, and even Moses eh, with the burning bush, how he called him. Go back and look at how God called the other persons, how he even called the 12 disciples. He just saw them and said, come follow me, and that come follow me was Jesus blending with them so that they could learn how to be like him. And so he did the same thing. He called each member of this family he said come follow me and we chose to follow him and he gave us his spirit in the same way that he did the apostles of old he has given us all that we need for life and godliness all we have to do is believe it and be courageous be courageous be courageous just go and try, go and test, go and try, go and test. That's why in school we get tests, we get exams. The exams are to prove what we know. We know what we know, but the teacher doesn't know what we know. So we get a test. And when the teacher mark it, the teacher says, yes, this student learned, this student knows. And so guys, I encourage you, go take the test, man. Go take the test. And prove that you are the best because the God who gave the test lives in you and he's there to help you it's not cheating you know he does the test with you hallelujah glory to God ha excited so sister K get out there man get out there sister K get out there sister Debbie get out there sister Marilyn do some stuff engage some people when you get out on the street, wherever you go, or you talk to someone on the phone, just say to them, can I pray with you? Can I pray for you? What's going on in your life? Do you have an issue? Do you have a problem? Ask somebody, man. Are you going through some stuff? Is everything all right? Life perfect? They might say, yeah, I'm doing good. But is life perfect? Is everything going perfect? Because God can perfect that which concerns you. Come on, somebody. And you minister to them. Minister to them from the place of giving them something. Come on. When Paul gave the man, the chief at Malita, the blessing of healing his father, mm, everything was open. He was confident that he could heal that man and everything else was open unto him. We need to just do that as well. Just be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. We are great. We are great because our God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so it's all about the mind. Hallelujah. Good morning again on behalf of Marsha Wade and Ruan Wade saying, Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is the day that he has made. And he wants to encourage his people to just step out, step out. I'll let your, your, your students in your class, you are talking to them and bringing them to a whole new level of revelation and love and interaction. Now you need to get to the next level. Come on, because there's always another level, my dear sister. So begin to have some one-on-one -on -one conversations or some little small group conversations with the students and get them to understand that you truly care about them and begin to speak and impart into their lives what you would like to see them become. Ask them what they want to become despite their environment, despite where they, were, where they live, despite their address, despite no one in their family ever becoming great come on you got to speak into their lives come on guys even if you are not at the best place where you think that you should have been don't concern yourself about that anymore if you concern yourself about growing in spiritual things God will take care of everything that concerns you I promise you that I promise you that I promise you that and so if you're a teacher, you know, when you, after you teach the curriculum, please do not do like me when I was teaching. <laughs> hey, 
Amen. God have mercy. Bless God. I don't know how I got away with that. God is so good. When I taught at a, at a particular school, I would go to class, man, and, and, and sometimes I had three hour classes. Sometimes I had 45 minute classes. Sometimes I had an hour and 10 minutes classes. And um, yeah, I would do some, some, some academic work, but a lot of times I went, man, and the Spirit of God was just upon me and I would just start preaching like, whoa. And <laughs> glory to God pray people get delivered in the class people vomit people get in a spirit fall a groan all kind of things and it was supposed to be class and it was not a school that they would have um, supported that kind of Holy Ghost stuff but God protected me because when I was young and innocent I was fearless I just thought that why people must just know and hear about God and experience God and so I was um, kind of even a little arrogant because I was saying yeah me at me I demonstrate God to them people and despite what them say may God bless me and forgive me <laughs> Jesus help me oh God but I'm saying to you now from my own experience I just want to say be, 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 be wise you know um do the, the the work of the school and the work that you are being paid for but when you get an opportunity during break time or whatever you know um as the opportunity presents itself the, uh, try to just talk to some people there are people going around passing you each day all the, there are students in your school and in all schools that are being harassed that are being abused that are being uh, sexually abused that are being verbally abused that are struggling with rejection because their parent or parents have left and they are just on their own trying to find a way there's so many things going on in the lives of people and the answer lies in god and that god lies in us oh somebody need to be encouraged this morning be encouraged that you are the answer to those who are committing suicide you're the answer to those who are depressed and oppressed you're the answer to those who are being demonic demon possessed and oppressed we are the answer we're the answer we're the answer and we just need to be courageous we just need to be bold we need to be brave and courageous be very strong and courageous and so i just use all this as a as a, as a as a reference point but i'm really talking to all of us and i'm saying all this when you get an opportunity only because you're a teacher and you have access to students whether online or um or or or, or in face to face you have access to students and the students today are a representation the mixed body of students are a representation of what the society is going through people are in trouble and if we don't love them enough and we not, we're not bold enough to step in there and say what's going on with you you all right just ask somebody them okay they're gonna probably tell you yes yeah man i'm good so you're saying everything is perfect every area of your life is perfect well everything not really perfect you know but you know may I go on especially if them know God a little bit and I must say well may I continue to believe God is good may glad me alive and all of that and then you can say um, do you believe in prayer can I pray for you about something anything even something that is good that should be great can I pray for you concerning it that's how we develop that's how we become bold and courageous that's how we practice to love because praying for someone is demonstrating love for them Come on, hallelujah. Peter said to the man at the gate, Temple Beautiful, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, such as I have the greatness, such as I have the love of God, that I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Can you imagine, Sister Aldit? 10 students, 15 students, 25 students in your class that were going through, that Satan had put in a box, that he had prepared them to be mailed to hell, mailed to depression, mailed to suicide, mailed to to um to poverty lack and insufficiency mailed to failure he put them in a box and put a stamp on the box already ready to mail them but you hallelujah stepped in by the glory of god huh? cut open that box release them and put them in a new box a box that mailed them to prosperity and good success a box that mailed them to overcome a box that mailed them to life and not death a box that mailed them to the plans that god has for them plans that are good and not evil to give them a hope and a future robo shando rakatapa sakata that's the greatest testimony that you could ever get can you imagine even before 
before you are old. Come on, hallelujah. You, you, you're going about your business and three years removed from the, 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 the way that you're administering to people. Some students graduate and they came back and said to you, Miss, Miss, I tell you the truth. I now have a company and do it well. Hi, glory to God. You see your students come in, some driving nice cars, and they come in and say, Miss, I, I, I just come to love upon you. I come to give you a seed or I come to give you a hug. I come to just tell you that you took me off, off the, tr the, the treadmill that was on the way to destruction and put me on a treadmill that was on the way to prosperity and good success. And I come to let you know, yes, some will come back and some won't. But I'm telling you that if you impact the lives of people around you by the grace of God, hallelujah, if even one comes back, like the 10 leper, hallelujah, you would have known that the quality of your work has been the quality of the Holy Spirit in each and every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is possible. It is easy. Why? Because the only responsibility we have is to be courageous and confident in the miracle work in God that lives in us. We are not designed to create the miracle. We are designed to carry the miracle worker. Somebody should get excited this morning. So be encouraged, people of God. We have unfettered, uninhibited access to greatness so that we can be our best and the devil can test. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So it's all about the mind. It's all about how we think. If we can conceive it and believe it, then we will receive it. And others will receive from us. We are invincible. We are unstoppable. We are indestructible. Hallelujah. We just have to believe it. We just have to believe it. And so I prophesy to you this morning. I release an increased belief system. I release the belief system of Moses when he left from the burning bush. And knew with confidence that his rod could become anything that he desired for it to become. That he could speak a word and it would come to pass because God would back him. That same God that backed Moses lives in us. That same God that backed Joshua lives in us. That same God that backed Ezekiel, Isaiah, all those guys of the past. From the old ones to the more recent ones, the apostles. That same God lives in us and backs us as well. Go test him. Go try him. Go do that exam and see what he will do. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah. So, guys, we're, 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 we're in this, hallelujah, together. And I, I myself am committing to you that I am going to be more courageous in, on the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I just want to give you a, a, what seemed like an insignificant testimony. Uh, yesterday, uh, was it before devotion or after devotion, you were feeling kind of drained? Yes, yesterday evening. Yes. Was it after, after the devotion or before? You which remember? one? The morning when, devotion? No, man. The afternoon one. Oh, before the, before, before, the, before, the, before the midday. Before the right. 2 o'clock devotion. You know, we were here and I was just... Um, meditating on the word that I was going to um sorry I was meditating on the word that I was going to to, to deliver in the afternoon um, devotion where we break the fast and Marsha was doing some work ministering to someone on the phone talking to some different people setting up stuff for for her book and, and all of that and um, you know she just felt a little drained because um, we had not gotten much sleep and all these kinds of things and she came and sat down while I was in the midst of, of thing and that's why I'm saying to you guys please I can only use our experience intimately to tell you some of the things that you are going to think and feel and experience but it doesn't that's not what defines you you have to push past it you have to push past it and demonstrate love you have to push past it and and, and be confident in the spirit of god that is in you and so um, I'm there in the midst of preparing and researching some stuff on the phone and I'm looking at the word and my wife comes and sits down and 
puts her hand on her head and she says, put your hand on my head, please. Um, just pray for me. And I say, pray for you now. What, what do you know? Me, 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 no, I'm being honest to you, you know. Me tell you the honest to God truth. And it's not a fact that I don't love my wife. Me love my wife. That's not in question. But you just, you say, but well, she had massive prayer warrior. 99.9% .9 of the time, she had prayer for me. So she can pray for herself. She don't need me for thing there. I'm being real, guys. We have to put it out there because sometimes we're so afraid. We want to be so so macho and so tough and so, yeah. I'm going like say we're a superstar and we don't get no no bad feeling. We don't think no bad thoughts. We don't we don't think there. And so it, it, it gets a chance to, to, to just develop in us and become our Achilles heel because we don't admit it. We don't talk it out there that Satan sometimes put in our head some simple little things that represents pride or fear or doubt or just plain mean because we're born in sin and shaped in iniquity and sometimes 90% of it come up but there's a little 10% that is still there that will only come up when certain things happen and we have to push past and say yes Lord thank you that you put me in a situation that I could identify this particular little thing that still needs to go and so we just press delete and delete that so my wife was in a little state i didn't know what it was i didn't think it was serious and so um she 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 was saying and she didn't give me no explanation she just said put your hand on my head and um so i would have had to stop researching stop reading to do it and the time was getting close and so i'm thinking in my head that man i want to a man cho she just said distract me i know um what thing there but i said you know all right let me push past it i didn't make a decision that boy this is my job and this is what a husband must do because if love her i just just responded from the spirit no big whoop no celebration men need no pat on the back and nothing there nothing everyone was not in that nothing you hear me nothing it wasn't because I love my wife. It wasn't because I know me a man of God. It was not anything of that. I just obeyed. And I'm telling you, I prayed. And God just, all God needs, whoo, all God needs is a hand extended. All God needs, he don't need for you to feel spiritual. He doesn't need for us to feel like we, we, we're on top of the world. We're floating and rabo, shotoko, and goosebumps, and rainbow, yo, shikata, and stamping, and walking around. He don't need all of that. All that is fine. Hey, I'm not knocking it. That is great when the time comes for that. But all God needs at all times, man, is just one who believes that he is great and nothing is impossible for him just extend the hand paul prayed and then extended the hand all god needs is for us to be prayed up so that when the opportunity comes we extend the hand and i extended the hand to the woman of god not because of how many it feel and how many it high in the spirit and how many this and how many that many never nothing 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 I just put my hand and just believed God because I couldn't do it. And it certainly wouldn't have happened if it was me because I wasn't feeling it. But I extended my hand and believed by God's grace that he is able. And shortly after that, not even what, a minute? Whatever, God just moved, man. And she was back up, energized and ready to take on the world do all kinds of things around the place amen and so that's why i preach to you with such passion that's why i i love upon you with such passion because i'm saying to you there are times guys when we're not gonna feel it there are times when we're gonna say lord man we pray for you 50 times already me tired of you now there are times when stuff gonna come into our hearts there are times when people are gonna call you and you're gonna say lord this is a one up my pray for her two, three weeks ago and, 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 and I haven't heard from her in three weeks. She get her deliverance, she get her prayer, she get her healing and she gone. She didn't call to say thank you and she gone and now she'll call again. That means there's something else wrong. Ah, uh, but me not even answer the phone because I'm busy now. No, answer, answer, answer and pray again. And if she gets her healing or her deliverance or her blessing or open door or get the job or whatever and she don't call you back again and six months time she run into problems again and call you, answer, that's why we are here answer and pray for her again and do not remind her do not tell her that she is like the nine leper that never come back do not tell her that she is uh, un ungrateful don't even mention it don't even try your best if you think it keep it inside of you holy ghost will deal with it on the inside there 
Come on, somebody. It's not easy. It's difficult because we're human. We like to get the big ups. We like to hear, oh, man, you prayed and, 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 and everything happened for me. That, it feels nice. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels nice. But if that's why we do what we do, then that's pride. And that needs to die in all of us, starting with me. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Tanya, forgive me too, Lord. Forgive me too. I've been there so many times. Not as bad as in the past, but there's still little tinges. Our lives are work in progress until Jesus comes. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord, for where we have been proud. Forgive us for where we have been selfish. Forgive us for where we have had in us and in our very hand that which others need to be transformed, that which others need to change their lives, that which others need to, 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 to just come into the fullness of you and we held it back from them because we say they are ungrateful. We held it back from them because we say they don't say thanks. We held it back from them because we think they don't deserve it. We think that we were tired or, or, or frustrated or whatever. Oh God, forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ for where we had an opportunity to minister to someone and we didn't. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a young man that I have to call today. Today, I am confessing to you. I have a young man that I have to call today because I have been I have been busy. I must be honest with you. But it's the same thing God just used this morning to bring it out. Hallelujah. He called me and I went to his house and prayed with him and things changed. And his wife came home from the States and great things are happening. And he never ever called to say, you know, how you doing? But now I'm calling again, sent a message about a week ago to say he need prayer. And I'm calling, calling. And yes, I have been busy and I've not been able. When he calls, I'm busy doing something. But I have not sought to call him back and to minister to him and to find out what's going on with him and help. So I am putting myself out there. We are human and we make mistakes. And we have, as a family, have to be a family that honors each other. And one of the best ways that we honor each other is to be completely honest. Because when one of you, my family members, go through something like that emotionally, go through something like that mentally, and you're afraid to confess it, even to yourself, even in your own space, the, the enemy will lock you in a box and mail you where you don't need to be. So we got to forgive and, and, and release and set out and do stuff. Amen. And confess when something we should have done we didn't do. Confess it out in your house. You don't always have to walk around and tell people your business. But confess it out and say, Lord, I know that was wrong. I know I should have called him. I know I should have answered the phone. And at least make, make a contact and say, bro, what's going on? We're kind of busy right now, but you're all right. We must engage because every time that we need God to engage, he never says, you remember last week when you sinned? You remember last week when I asked you to do something you didn't? You remember to yesterday when you should have done it? He never does that to us. Then why we do it to other people? Why do we do it to other people? Why? Because what we want for ourselves, we don't always want to give to others. But we should. Amen. You know, Vex? <laughs> bless God hallelujah hallelujah God is a good God man and he loves us so much it is well he has put everything in us that we need hallelujah hallelujah the only way to grow is when the Holy Spirit shows us our faults amen brother amen well said well said brother well said brother Curtis well said that is it hallelujah okay sister testifies about business booming in the point where to the point where she had to hey, yes glory to god hallelujah yesterday we got a call a message from our sister who um you know we've been just praying with and having devotions with and she's such an awesome woman of god she has just trusted god in her business she put up scriptures in her business she she literally almost grabbed her staff by the scruff of the neck and said we're gonna have devotion we're gonna pray you're gonna read your bible she just immerse herself and her company in God and I tell you they have been through some rough times when you decide to show God like that the devil is gonna come up against you but now is the time and the season when manifestation of God's glory for faithfulness is coming to pass hallelujah 
and so yesterday we got a message from her that the business that was just um fledgling because of, of of covid the business that was just getting by staff was working day on day off day on day off yesterday she sent a message to say things are going so good she have to be employing new staff members because the workload is coming to our wazoo coming to our years coming hey, hey our god is awesome he can move mountains hey he keeps us in the valley and hides us from the rain and so we are celebrating with our sister this morning because things are boom things are come up to bump i can see clearly now the rain is gone the sun is shining brightly hallelujah but i have my air conditioned car so it's lovely outside and i'm comfortable inside come on somebody it's a good time to be in jesus Woo! So we celebrate God and we say thank you, Lord, for what you have done for our sister and for what you are doing for all the other members of this family in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, so Abigail is celebrating a birthday today. Uh, our sister Quenda's daughter. Quenda, big up Grand girl. Daughter. Granddaughter. Wait, Quenda, yeah, one Nine good. grandchildren, Quenda. Hold on, Quenda. I say I go on, my girl. Oops. And you look young, so I have grandchildren. Bless Jesus. We thank God for his renewing. Yeah. We thank God that God treats you like an eagle. He takes you to the secret place and pull out everything that was old and put in things that are new. And so we celebrate with you um, on the birthday of your granddaughter, Abigail. Hallelujah. Abigail can't fail, never stale, always prevail. Hallelujah. And will never go to jail. <laughs> Bless God. Hallelujah. So let's sing happy birthday to our dear granddaughter Abigail. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Abigail. Happy birthday. And make we sing now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Abigail. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for Abigail today. We thank you that she's blessed and highly favored. She's anointed and appointed for such a time as this. We thank you for the spirit of excellence upon her, O oh God. We thank you that you will shield her, cover her with your fire, and place your whole arm around about her. We thank you, Lord, that she's a leader, that she will lead her generation, that she will excel and exceed all expectations. We thank you, Lord, that she shall be a, 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 a column, a pillar, in her family uh, that they will stand on she will be the foundation for her generation uh, for the manifestation we thank you that she's a mighty woman of God that Abigail shall prophesy like Deborah Hallelujah. she shall lead men into battle against the works of the enemy and shall destroy she shall be a watchman on the wall looking out for the things that will come against her generation I thank you that she shall be bold and courageous she shall meditate upon your word day and night and she shall be well and confident to perform your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless Abigail in this season. Release scholarships for her throughout her school life and her training, all that she desires to do, O oh God. May it find favor with you that you will bring them to pass in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen, and amen. Annie Hallelujah. Grant is on. Annie. Ask her what she doing. Annie, 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 Annie. Yes, from Annie from America. yesterday. Hallelujah. We were just saying a few days ago that um we have we have, we have contact with most continents uh, and, and, and so many countries in the world, but we didn't see anyone from South America. And then God says, hmm, you think he's only Akitri Lima can drop? <laughs> and drop somebody from South America. So our sister Annie from yesterday, man. Hallelujah. Annie, Annie Garnett from French Guinea. You ever hear about French Guinea? I hear about French Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> French Guyana, I mean. French Guyana, yes, French Guyana. So our dear sister Annie from French Guyana, we prayed for her yesterday and she's back in the family today. That means she's now a family member because she's showing faithfulness to come and be a part of what God is doing uh, in us and through us. So Annie, we just want to ask you, how is your head feeling? We understand that you're having a headache for two days. How are you feeling now? 
hallelujah we want to make sure that you're all right amen annie 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 oh we got, we're so happy for you girl we're happy for you and um we're here to walk with you it is not just talk we will walk with you we will be a blessing to you and and just show you how much god loves you man and um he will heal you he will deliver you he will bring uh, right alignment to your household because that's what god does man when god saved me there was chaos and, 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 and sin in the midst of my life, my house, my finances, everything. And today I can safely tell you, mm, oh Jesus, God has done an amazing job. Glory to God. And he's still working. He's still working for me and he will work for you. Much I'm better much better now. now, Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, we just thank you that the work that you have begun in Annie Garnett, hey, God, you who have begun a good work will faithfully fulfill it even unto your coming. So, touch her even more, O God Almighty. Fix and shift her circumstances. Strengthen her in this time and in this season. Cause her to experience you, to encounter you in ways because, Lord, you have given her a heart of love. Lord, she's selfless. She loves others and she's always wanting to do stuff for others. But, God, I thank you that sometimes she cries and she says, when will I be free? Because it seems as if I am giving but I'm not getting. I am I am, I am, a, I am a part of, of, of what God is doing through me, but I don't seem to be getting what God wants to do for me. And so, Lord, I thank you that what she is giving out, will line up with what she's getting in in the name of Jesus Christ and that your purpose for Annie Garnett will be accomplished in the name of Jesus Christ. Show her your love, Lord. Pour your liquid love into her life to heal, deliver, set free, and make whole. I cramp and paralyze every demonic assignment against her, every witchcraft, every demonic spirit that have gone after this woman of God, we declare, O God Almighty, that they, they fail. We take her out of the devil's mail and send her to you, Lord. In your hands we commit Annie Garnett that she might live mm -hmm. and live abundantly. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Um, we have a little sad news to report. A few weeks ago, we were praying for a young lady, uh, Natalie uh, Barrett, I think her name is, yes, Natalie Barrett, hallelujah, Natalie Barrett, she was in the hospital and, um, and she was not doing well, we prayed and she started to recover, God was doing something and um, it took a turn and yesterday morning at about 7 a.m. she passed away, uh, we don't just testify and celebrate the, 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 the recoveries and the blessings of God and, and pretend like, like, like God doesn't take people home or God doesn't allow persons to go through difficulties. We are a real family. We hide nothing. Amen. We will pray, but God in his sovereignty will do what he needs to do because he alone is God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we try to keep it real. We pray, pray, pray. And when someone gets the blessings of God, the hand of God in their favor, we celebrate and we give testimony and we talk about Aki and we say, we want Aki and Salfish for breakfast out of Sister Angie stash. But then when God doesn't do it and Sister Angie is saying, why? I'm hungry today and I don't have no Aki. We still give God glory. Amen. So in life, we give God glory, and in the passing, we give God glory. So we pray this morning for Sister Barrett's family. Hallelujah. Sandra, thank you for bringing that to our attention. Sister Yuan, uh, God bless. We pray for the peace of God on Sister Barrett's family. Hallelujah. We pray that God will counsel and minister to the, the family and friends and loved ones of Natalie and just bring peace bring peace lord peace peace lord may they not struggle to to go through the burial process may they the finances be there to just do what needs to be done so that all can be well we mourn with you when you mourn and we celebrate with you when you celebrate rest in peace sister natalie rest in peace for it is well god is on the job it is well it is well it is well Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Aha, pastor, hey, evangelist Albert, glory to God. That's it. We have to be real, man, because God is real, and that's what he wants us to do. Okay, so things just went. Uh, the last two days, things just go in a different direction. We're still on the mind, and we're still, we still have 
quite a bit of work that we need to get done but this morning has gone the way the lord wants it and so we're still i hope that you're doing your reading on your own hallelujah first uh, corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 and 10 first corinthians chapter 2 verse 16 verse 16 says for who has known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him but we have the mind of christ watch this you know first corinthians 2 16 it says but for who has known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him we read the word and the word represents the mind of god but do we really know the word in a way that we know the mind of god that we can tell him god heal this person god bring back this person to life no we don't instruct god we are co-laborers with god but he's the boss and that's one of the things that a lot of us don't know as christians we don't know that we are just co-laborers with god we are not the boss he's the boss we have to get to that place where we understand he instructs us as his employees as his sons as his daughters as his as servants as whoever as his citizens in the kingdom he instructs us to go and do and be and then we he gives the increase paul says it very good paul says i plant apollos water but it is god who gives the increase we must always remember that persons have backslid left god because they are expecting they're instructing him god i need a husband i need a husband god and i need a husband this week this year this month god i need a financial breakthrough i need a financial breakthrough this week this month this year and if it doesn't happen based on your instructions to god you say all right i'm quitting this job all right god you're fired like we're the boss no guys no we as fourth watch family members we don't go there we co-labor and work for god almighty and what he does we enjoy either way paul says well good in every situation give thanks when god comes through for us Akilim, we just love the Akilim testimony. I must tell you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, by tomorrow, I'll stop beat it. But I'm telling you, I'm enjoying it right now. He comes through for us. Akilim, we have abundance of food. There's another time when we will go maybe a day or two or three with nothing. If we have been fasting and getting our body in the place and in the mood for 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 um for for for, for denial, then we'll say, well, all right, God, you want me to be on fast? That's why I don't get no food for the last two days. Glory to God. Father, I just give you thanks the same way. We have to be flexible and ready to move with whatever it is God is doing because we are co-laborers. When you work for a company, our brother Joseph, as your name come up, Curtis, Curtis works for a company. He works for an organization, a, a governmental ministry in, um, in, 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 in Tobago. When he goes into work, if his boss says, Joseph, you're not going to do your regular thing today. Do this, 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 this. Joseph can't stand up and say, excuse me, who are you giving orders? You, you can't tell me to do that. He could say it, but he wouldn't be working there come next week. Amen. And so when the boss talks, we obey what the boss says. And then we say, boss, help me to do what you have asked me to do with excellence. That's our job. Let's just serve God with excellence, man. Let's serve God's people with excellence because we can. Amen. Bless God. So um, we can't instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. And so the mind of Christ means we think as he thinks, we say as he says, we do as he does. Because the mind controls our actions. And so we're on the mind this week uh, for, for, for Annie. Annie, we're, we're, we're doing the mind and the importance of the mind this week. The power of the mind and how the eyes and the ears affects the mind and affects how we think and then by extension how we speak and so if our mind is in control if our mind is renewed if our mind is the mind of christ then we will walk in victory we will walk in anointing and power we will walk as representatives of the living god it starts with our mind not just this mind or the mind that is considered the soul our mind is our soul 
everything operates from here those who backslide those who don't come to christ those who are in christ but are not doing what they're supposed to do is a result of an unrenewed mind amen bless god and so our job is to not just pray for others minds to be renewed but pray also for our minds to be constantly renewed because we need constant renewal man so that the mind of christ can truly take full control and manifest through us let's pray father we thank you this morning for the opportunity to hear your voice to hear from you to be encouraged by you we thank you for the impartations and the manifestations that will come we thank you for the counsel the advice the direction the things that you have instructed us in how to do lord i pray that you will give me the boldness the courage to go pray for people in wheelchair pray for people who are blind just pray for them just show them love and let you give the increase where you see fit let me not oh god almighty be consumed by pride or fear uh, to not do it because I don't want to look bad. I don't want people to say, what kind of man of God that and him go pray for the man and nothing happen? Oh God, may I never be a victim of those mindsets or even those words in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God Almighty, that every member of this family will be fully and steadfastly pursuant of your word that says go and make believers. Go and demonstrate. Go and love upon. Go and bring into my kingdom all that the people need to be and to do in the name of jesus christ cover us under your wings O god bless us to continually be a blessing bless us to walk like joshua in your word in your will in courage hallelujah and boldness and in obedience to your word that we will do what needs to be done that men may hear what we are saying in jesus name hallelujah 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 uh please i want to just ask you as a as a as a note uh if you are new to this family like annie sister annie make sure that you um you like and share we also have a, new, a youtube page that we put up the devotions in the mornings and the afternoon devotions the tuesday afternoon devotions so if you want to catch up on some stuff in your spare time you can go to liberty for living hallelujah just type in liberty for living in youtube and the, our page will come up and you'll see the picture so you'll know that it's it but remember to like and share subscribe to our youtube page invite friends invite family invite persons with christian minds even if they're not yet saved because we also want to get persons saved in this family as well so all new persons please remember to like and share with others so that we can spread the gospel if you think that this is valuable to you then it will be valuable to someone else as well if it's not valuable to you all right that's fine we continue to work on it and continue to submit to the holy spirit that he will do his work but if it is valuable to you thus far and we're growing together then share with others as part of a demonstration of your love so that they too can receive amen but i mean i tell you and he's and he's on fire and everything and he say yes and right there she don't even take two seconds to respond we love you girl like your attitude go with it god thank you for bringing south america as a representative the to the to the arm um, yeah and remember to hit the notification bell so that even if you're sleeping and we come on it will go ding 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 and wake you up and say time to get ready time to go be faithful to the king of kings hell hallelujah okay all right so um just want to make a mention and it and it really pointed out something that was profound yesterday that we need to um to to just keep mentioning from time to time um you know communion is a very sacred and important part of what we do it's sacred because it is a a, um, a a family bonding process not just our family but bonding with the family of god through jesus christ and so you need to be a part of the family of god in order to eat of his body and drink of his blood if you do so as a as a sinner as one who is not covenanted with god then you're doing it unworthily it is not discriminatory it is not to say you, you you're not good enough no that's not what we're saying someone who uh, uh 
is your next door neighbor is your friend and you could you could go to your next door neighbor and say may i have some sugar may i have some salt may i have some of your dinner and they will give it to you but if you don't have a a, a deep relationship with them you will go the same neighbor who will give you some of their dinner every day if they're not there and you go over the wall or go through the gate and go into their house and open the pot and share out dinner as if it is yours you may have a problem you may have damaged the relationship the same person who would have given you the dinner on their own if you go in and take it that's a different thing now their son and daughter their aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, and nephews, their family members could go in and take it and they would be legal, have legal right. It's the same thing with the communion. Those who are members of the family who have committed to being a member of the family can just take and eat as they see fit. But there are other things that God will give to you easily and readily if you're not a part of the family. But you have to be a part of the family to eat of his body and drink of his blood. Not discrimination, just encouragement for you to make that step. Come into the fullness of him so that you can enjoy him. Amen. Bless God. So don't feel no way if you're not there yet. Don't feel no way that you need to, 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 to rush to do it. Do it at the pace that the Holy Spirit is drawing you along. Amen. But it needs to be done because no man knows the minute nor the hour. No man knows when the Lord will put in his appearance. Right, Annie? The Lord can come tomorrow and we can't say, boy, Lord, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't hear. And so we're preaching for salvation for those who are not yet saved. Anyone who is lukewarm, anyone who is in a more of a backslidden state than a firebrand state, we're preaching and we're asking you, come on, get up with fire. Come up higher because it is God's desire for each of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, Lord, we just ask you to bless these emblems this morning. Sanctify them and purify them, O God Almighty, that we might eat of your body and drink of your blood worthily. Let this be representative of your body and of your blood, that when it enters us, we are renewed, reformed, transformed, and restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we eat of your body and drink of your blood this morning, we ask you to search our thoughts, search our words, and search our actions. See if there be anything in us, O oh God, that stimulates or invites the enemy to come into our situations and circumstances. We repent and renounce it now and ask your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it. He broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat. This is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all a bit in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me, my death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Mm, my song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Quinda, please give Abigail a big nice hug for us and tell us that tell her that the fourth watch family loves her in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for joining us this morning we hope that you were blessed and encouraged and motivated to go be and do for the good pleasure of the lord nothing is impossible for those who carry the spirit of the living god we just need to believe it receive it conceive it and then manifest it and this is the month of manifest so manifest and be the best for we come just now to say Thank you, O King. Thank you, O King, for you are the best and the devil can test. Hallelujah. Have a great day. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Hallelujah. Go forth, my family, and have an amazing day. 
for our God has has already already shaken everything that is evil out of of your day his way in Jesus name remember Jesus Jesus love you and we love the whole I want to too hallelujah hallelujah have a love filled day man go share some of that love that is bubbling over from this time in the love zone for touch love is a bubbling hey, over for bubble, touch love, love is a bubbling over for touch love is a bubbling over hallelujah go and show your love go and show your love hit 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 go and show your love hit Go and show your love. Hey, <laughs> go and make your love bubble over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless God. You know, we always have to have fun. Amen, guys. Glory to God. Hallelujah to our King. He is great and greatly to be praised. May the Lord visit you today with a blessing, a favor, a revelation, or a manifestation. Whatever He chooses. May the Lord show you, hallelujah, that he's with you in a great and awesome way today, his way, in Jesus' name. Love you guys. Have a great one.